Same time, some troopers have been put on standby at the border just in case another wave arrives. And now a temple man is making sure that they will have something to eat. Bill Conlon just left for Del Rio today with several volunteers and a plan to pick up a lot of food. Six News reporter Andrew Moore spoke with him this morning before he left. He joins me now in studio. Andrew? Bill Conlon first started helping feed people after the more Oklahoma tornado nine years ago and never stopped. Now he's headed to Del Rio to help out. Most recent was Snowvid. We did Harvey before that. Conlon has helped feed people after tornadoes, after the West explosion, and during the snowstorm in February. So when he found out hundreds of state troopers were being called to the border, <laughs> it was time to roll out once more. These troopers are sleeping in the back of their toes. They're not changing clothes. There's nowhere for him to take a shower. But while he can't help with the laundry situation, Colin can at least make sure they have something to eat. Preformed hamburger patties. We've got hundreds of pounds of pork sausage for for uh, breakfast tacos. And something to wash it down with. This was this was donated by, uh, by Niagara. Colin says he is working with more than 30 volunteers to prepare to feed up to 600 people at a time and he'll be picking up much of the food from other supporters on the way. And while a state border trip may not seem like the easiest job to get volunteers for, I promise people a lot of hard work, very little sleep, you're going to get sweaty. Colin says helping people is contagious, so it's not a problem. But you get a lot of thank yous, and that, that gets them, that gets them. And Conlon also told us while they have a few business sponsors, most of that food is donated by regular people. Yeah. Chris? Very generous of his time, very generous of those people to donate. Great story on a Friday. Uplifting. Thank you very much, Andrew.